welcome back to the podcast, episode 12, and I'm excited for this one. I'd like to introduce my boy, Wes. The crowd goes mild. Miles. Miles. <laughs> uh, if you're new to our podcast, hey, thank you for coming. Thank you for reaching out. Um, on this podcast, we don't run ads, so you don't have to worry about that. The only thing that we do ask is that if you like it, just share it with somebody. Tag us on social media, Cosmo Unfiltered, and uh, spread some love because it's free. I mean, it's actually cost them less. It doesn't cost me money, but it costs Wes money. But thank you, Wes. I got to pay him to be here. Got to pay him to hang out with me. <laughs> Get the friends and family discount. So well, it's, I'm grateful. Amy pays me to babysit you. That's probably more like it. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, just keep him out. See, listen. Keep him out of the bars. Nothing sharp. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Don't take him Have to him the gun range. Five o'clock. Yeah. Don't let him spend any money. So uh, this episode is a question I actually get asked a lot. And I, it's one that I've really never thought that much about until now. And it's, when do I sell the company? Is or that, do I sell the company? Are you asking yourself that question? Or are you asking everyone that question? That's a, I get that question a lot. You just curious? Yeah. Man, that's a, that's a, I didn't, I didn't realize this was going to be like this, this, uh, um, it's a little vulnerable, huh? Vulnerable. Yeah. yeah. Cause this is, this is a question I get asked a lot. I feel like you got a spotlight on you right now. I actually do. You have, do. I yes, you do. I actually do have one right <laughs> matter, there. Matter of fact. <laughs> so I guess the, 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 the main question would be was why would someone sell? Why would you sell? And for me, it's, um, well, honestly, the, the, I love what I do. I don't go to work, so I absolutely love what I do. So the reason why I would sell, and I, Wes has heard me say this before, is somebody would have to just come in here and shock the ever-living shit out of me with so much money that uh, that's why I would sell. Stupid money. Yeah. Joe Rogan calls it F you money. It's true. You know, but... Honestly, if somebody walked in here with uh, um, F you money, yeah, I'd sell the bitch in a second, man. <laughs> well, it's always, as long as I've known you, it's always been like, I don't want to sell the company for what I need to survive. Yeah. I mean, I want to sell the company for whatever I need to fund whatever's next. Yes, yeah. And now it, it, it's a combination of both of them. Yeah. It will not only secure... Well, I, I, nothing's forever, right? You, yeah. You're going to die, and nothing's guaranteed. You could lose your money. I mean, it, it, it happens every single day. But it, it would have to be enough that I could live comfortably till I die and fund the next thing. Yeah. And the next thing's going to be massive. In my head, at least. <laughs> In my head, it's going to be massive. It's all starting to come together up yeah, here. I can't even... I, I want to tell people, you know, what it is, but I, I know I can't because... <laughs> But it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's real neat, though. <laughs> Got to tell you. So, yeah, I would sell the company if uh, the the right person came along and just wowed me. So, if you're talking about, it's almost like you get to pick your neighbors. Like that's that's almost what you're doing because you yeah. the company and you are pretty synonymous. Yep. In a lot of ways, like, so I mean, you you would be in a sense picking like not a partner like in a legal sense, but whoever bought no, it. No, it would be in a legal sense. Well, in some yeah, yeah to a certain yeah. extent, but you you'd be picking like a a clo pretty close cellmate. partner. Yeah, a cellmate. Yeah, yeah. I, what is what is that? If you get to pick, what's that look like? Who does that person look like? <clears throat> if if I could pick my perfect buyer. Um, obviously it had to be somebody that understands the vision, understands where barbecue is going, where not only barbecue is going, but where outdoors cooking, out, anything outdoors that, un, that sees that vision and understands where it's going. I said this probably eight years ago. <clears throat> I don't even think barbecue was a, 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 a billion dollar a year business. Mm. And man, I've said it probably eight years ago. I said, 
barbecue will be a six to eight billion dollar year business in our near 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 future. Now, yeah. obviously, I, I you know can't predict the future. I just know that what we were doing then versus you know wasn't going to last forever. So if I could pick my favorite partner, my, like the best partner, it would have to be somebody that understands the vision that is aligned with me. Uh, not only in the vision, uh, but not only in finance, but also aligned with me in conquering barbecue. One of our mission statements is, is we won't stop until Cosmos Q is widely sought after by barbecue fanatics worldwide and is known as the go-to for all your barbecue needs. So it would have to be somebody that doesn't mind looking at the mountain while we're standing at the bottom yeah. and going, let's go crush this. Yeah. So that would be my, that would be my perfect buyer. And you know, you know, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that reach out and they, oh, you know, and I don't think anybody really understands where it's gone. But I will say this: one, one, one outfit has reached out. No offers, no nothing like that. But they're. Uh, we're pretty aligned as far as vision, drive, and understanding that we're not here. Like, yes, I, you know, money's great, but I want to, I want to live a leave a legacy hmm. for years, yeah, years and years. Would you say, as a as a business owner, and I guess other business owners who listen can relate, or negate this statement but do you get clear about the buyer or the future of a company beyond you once you've gotten clear about what the goals are yeah you know that's a great question man no you're exactly right once you understand you, you know and I, I you know even to take this back to you know personal stuff I always thought that I you know I had to fix other people you know, I was responsible for this or responsible for them. And that's not the truth at all. I had to fix myself. Huh. And once I fixed myself, yeah. then the vision became even more clear. And that's when I, you know, it's just that old saying, you know, uh, I just, you know, I understand very clear sure. who I was, who I wanted to be and who I wanted to be around. Yeah. Well, it's like you see the. Like you're on the side of the road, you've got that little rickety sign that says, we'll buy your house for cash. Looks like they wrote it like the big Sharpie. Yeah. You know, it's like, I don't want to sell my house to that guy. Yeah. Like, unless, so you, you have one or two things if you're, if you're attracted to that. You have an asset or a liability. Yeah. If you're selling to that guy, you got a liability. Yeah, yeah. Because you yeah, know he's yeah, willing to yeah, buy that, a liability. Yeah, yeah. But I think from your perspective, from the position you're in, you're selling an asset. I'm like, selling a massive. You have created asset. a massive asset. I would sell. I'm not selling. Sure, I would hypothetically. Sell a but, so, like, but that that is the goal. Like, you you have to, as a business owner, look intrinsically. Like, what is what is it about this thing that either spells liability or? And I think you attract you, that. You, whatever. No, you're, you're right. Off. And I, and I I think a lot of people, um, poor mentality. I had poor mentality my whole life, up until probably, honestly. Five years ago. Honestly. Yeah. And that's just what I knew. I always believed in hoarding, keeping, stashing, burying, scraping. <laughs> you know, all the things. I can't afford that. I can't do that. I just had poor mentality. That's the way I was raised. And uh, once, I, once it switched, when I quit making money the goal. Yeah. And start making. And it goes back to uh, what we covered in. Uh, the very first podcast, you know, what are, what are my goals? Hmm. Freedom, yeah. finances, and family. When, when I understood that that is the goal and not money and that you, all that I was doing was trading time for money and I was getting the shitty end of the stick. Yeah. Once I understood that and I could, I, I had enough vision to go to, to say, I'm going to, I'm going to skate past the money, go back and work on myself. But when I get done with that, money's not going to be my object. It'll be happiness. Yeah. It's funny. We're kind of like where you, you're not a millennial, but I'm a millennial. Mm -hmm. 
and millennials are actually a little older than most people think. Yeah, they are. The cutoff yeah. is like, what is it, like mid eighties or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But we are in this weird spot where some of us, depending on how old our parents are, were raised and worked some of most of their lives in that like I'm gonna work here for forty years and get the Rolex yeah. environment. You and mean, it's I get four hundred one K? 401k for what? And they and got like, insurance. And then I'm going to retire, and, and you then, know yeah. what? No, like, I have never met anybody that retired with no. other than other than one person. One person did, but I think he had stock options. Sure, too. that I helps. Have, I have never met anybody retire on a 401k. And first of all, 401ks weren't meant to retire. On. No, they it's were a just nice meant incentive. To, yeah, just a, just a hey man, just a stash of money in here yeah. and actually what they were invented for is to to inject money back into the market yeah. to get it going back up after the depression yep and there's a lot of relics of that 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 era yeah that i think we're kind of where we're woke in this sense mm-hmm. i only use that term for that purpose but we are like around the idea of like okay well that that ain't gonna cut it like we got to be no. more diverse than that and even with like the way we like to work like yeah. we like people 40 years ago we're not saying i'm gonna go rogue and by sheer force of will make this work you know they were looking for yeah. like where can i go spend 40 what's years of my easiest, life what's the easiest simplest oh sure it was just like it's cookie cutter like yeah. stamps and if um, there's probably people listening that the took American that route dream. in life get yeah. a good job go to go to school get go a good school, job get a good job buy a house, house settle down yeah. raise a family and those things are all still goals that we have, and yeah. we're all motivated by that, and that's all well and good. But the way you get there has never been more. It's it's not as clear cut. No. It's like they were. I was listening to him talk on the radio yesterday about how e commerce in the last year really t- it it took the place of people going out and using cash, and they talked about how this percentage of people using cash and the percentage of a debit card transaction like these numbers are really far apart. Like there were more cash transactions than debit despite the fact that everybody uses their car, but then they, they've they re-looked at those numbers and they've come a lot closer now because in the last year, people's behavior has changed so much. Mm-hmm. Yep. Where they are, they're just buying products online. So, I mean, it really has been this big proof of concept almost for these businesses like yours where... Yeah, and, 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 and I think the one thing that people fail to understand is when I started this company, e-commerce wasn't a thing. That wasn't even a term that I was aware of. No. You could not... The, the Amazon only, sold books. Amazon sold books. What year did Amazon start? Netflix shipped DVDs to shipped your house. DVDs <laughs> to you. Um, eBay was an auction website, yeah. and there was no e-commerce. I had to. I had to build that. Yeah, you took a bunch of pieces and put it together. Yeah, I made. I cobbled some shit together. Yeah. and made it work loosely. Yeah. You know, now it's, yeah. I mean, it's been co-opted a million different ways, but I mean that, I mean, you find yourself at the, in the same way that we're kind of on the back end of all these old philosophies about work and life, where you're kind of at the, the, the end of that whole big boom with e-commerce and you've got, you kind of have your own free reign at it. You know, what do you want to do with it? Like you, you get the option. It's already built. It's proven, you know, the liability of does this, is this going to work? That's how it kind of all yeah, that's gone. Subsided. Yeah. yeah. That's gone. So yeah. that's what it that's what it looked like for me. But if, if I did, if and when I do, I will um still be here on this channel. Uh but the next thing that we're gonna that we will do is gonna be pretty cool. They might cut me though, so No, I don't, you're not cut we're not cutting you. We may make you a partner. There we so go. Just so, just so we have to, you know. Now you have so buy we can get you to shut up. Yeah, shut up. Quit bitching. <laughs> now you finally have to t- do what we say. <laughs> we own you now. So, yeah, I, I would still work though. I would. I, I, you know, and I thought about it. Golf isn't like, a job, though. We need to be clear about that. Well, but I suck at golf. So <laughs> it's, it is a job. But it's a. It's a. It's a lot of steps. You just got a lot of room to improve. I suck at it. Pretty Needs good. improvement. But I thought about it. Could I sit at home? Could I could I retire? And, and I'll I'll just be clear right now. I'm 49. I'll be 50 in 12, 20, 21, man. 20, 20 days. 20 days. Well, today's the days, second. 19 days. I'll be 50 in 19 days. We're we'll going to get you something real nice. Real nice. Real nice. <laughs> there is 
absolutely no way I could sit around with my thumb up my ass doing nothing. I couldn't. Yeah, that's a fate worse than death for some people. And, and I thought about, well, okay, well, you know, what if I got into real estate? And I'm like, and, and may, I, I don't know anything about real estate, but I'm like, it, real estate seems it doesn't have enough challenge to sure. it. Now you can make it challenge. It's I, repetitive. Yeah, you know, but I, I'm I'm saying like at the at the level I would enter at, you know, I, I'm looking at complexes. You yeah. Know. Big commercial stuff. Yeah, you you know, unless I built the team out myself, you I, I would hire you know somebody to handle all that. So I just don't know if there's enough there mentally to challenge me. I'm sure there probably is. I, you know, you don't know what you don't know, but um. If anybody's willing to teach me, hit me up. I was talking to a guy yesterday. He was he was in high school. He'd already committed to play football in college, broke his hip. Gets he recovers, gets ends up getting to play for that team. He's got these big NFL ambitions the whole time he's in college. Like that's what he's working for. Graduates, gets his degree, starts going like, you know, scouting, working out with teams, and none of them will approve his physical because he broke his hip when he was in high school. And the way he described it is like, man, I I broke my hip and that nobody was going to sign off on the physical because it's like buying a used car. Like I had like frame damage and yeah. that was a liability for them so they wouldn't do it. And he said, what I learned then was life is all about how well you can reinvent yourself and and don't put like a, an expiration date on how many times you're willing to do it because like you just, you have to and you got to know when you're in one and how to see it. And I, I don't know, man, it seems like you're kind of in that spot. Like you're like, yeah. I've done this thing. It's a thing. It's not like I don't have options, but it almost feels like it's time to reinvent a little bit. Yeah. Like, and it, do it again. Yeah. And do you kind of, it's like blood in the water a little bit. You're like, oh, I'm ready. Like it, you kind of look for those opportunities yeah. and maybe, I don't know, maybe you're there. Yeah. Hey, when, yeah. we'll find when, out. when do you sell the company? We'll find out. I don't know. On the next <laughs> episode. <laughs> On the next episode. Of. <laughs> We're signing <laughs> checks. Well, Hey man, I want to thank everybody for watching, tuning in. Hey, if you like what we do, remember, we don't charge for any of this. There's, You're never going to see ads on here. It's all free. So if you would, share us on social media. Tag us at Cosmo Unfiltered. And uh, invite a friend. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.